finals, actually. Here, anyways, at Juicy's, yes. Probably once or twice. I don't know. I don't run Juicy's, so. Okay, it's starting. Yay! A lot of cr canceling of the crowd. Oh, wow. Komodo saying, just Komodo lied to us to get in our heads, saying this this will this will reset, this will reset, and then just lying that to us completely. Uh, mess them up. You know what I mean? Komodo's just a liar. You heard it here first, folks. Yeah, Chrono must be like really warm right now. I feel like being really warm against Puff doesn't really help you, you know what I mean? I mean, it does help you in some cases, but the Puff's like really I mean, good you have to think about it. You have to think about this. Being cold against Puff not hurt you. Okay, yeah, but like being really, really warm and just like try and go as fast as possible will not work. You know what I mean? Against Puffs that know how, how to deal with that. I mean, definitely, I can kind of see what you're saying. Because, like, Club's literally strategy to play against Hungrybox is just come at him, right? And, like, once Hbox just learned that he can just stuff him out, because he's just doing options really fast, like, eventually you're just going to mess up really badly if you're Fox. You know what I'm saying? So you, you don't really have the... Yeah, I don't know. If you stay calm in situations like this, it's really easy to take advantage of their like weak points. <laughs> wow, that was a cross up. Literally, Komodo playing basketball. Damn. That thing really double proofed him. Yeah, that double proofed last forever. Okay, that double fair was. Ooh, he's alive. Oh, he could have just fared. Wow, this is intense. 100% Komodo's watching in the future. So, hi Komodo. Jabbing in front of him, he tried to shield grab. I bet right now he Komodo's looking for rest. No. Nope. <laughs> I mean, I like mean, at, at th in this situation, you're thinking he's he's probably thinking about it, you know. I think th that's a situation to where if you're looking for rest, you're screwed. <laughs> I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Like if literally. You're specifically saying in your head, I need rest to win. Like. Then Kredo Kredo will do is game one, right? Yes. Kredo yeah. will do everything in his power not to get in a situation where he's getting I mean, that's what you should be doing in like 100% of the time against Puff anyway. Yeah, but you get, you how should... hard is it to hold a mentality like that the whole game? Where yeah. You, you obviously know it exists, but it's not like it helps a wow. while. How the heck did that happen? He just read his role. I guess. It's not the... Not the what is the biggest role reader? Ever. I'll just wait until you roll. Oh, 
I was doing a pretty good job, but Kodo's just like better at coming down and then, like keeping these vertical and horizontal is very I mean definitely I think Puff is really good at juggling Sheik. Sheik coming down is very, she has very, very bad options. Yeah. What the heck was that? <laughs> Komodo knows too. He, he definitely knows. That was not supposed to happen. Or, it was supposed to happen, but what the hell. Not yet. He's dead in like one more, I think. Maybe two. Because it's kind of stale. Yeah. Now he's dead. Wow, oh, he really went down for that. Actually, he staled that really hard. It only does 8% though. To forward air? Yeah. I guess that's a big thing in this matchup. Like, he might be winning exclusively using fair, but because of the staling mechanic, that makes using one move really hard. Yeah, there's not many other moves he can use to unstale it either. Yeah, he can throw needles. He might be able to mix in a back air every once in a while. Yeah, but you have to hit it to unstale. That's a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm guessing Mode needs like a tomahawk or something to get something started. Or guard or something. He just needs one good hit to send him off stage. And then Sheik is free. Like that. Yep, free. Should be, at least. And if he doesn't drop it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm guessing he expected him to go to platform. If you lose on your counter, it's pretty bad. I think right now he's mentally thinking he can't win this set, so... He definitely sounded like when he was talking on commentary, he did not sound very confident. Yeah, he's like, I got my good wins, and he sounded pretty content with that. Which is not the kind of mentality you need to close out the, the final W. I will tell you one thing. Me sitting here, I'm tired as heck, and I haven't even been like playing like the rest of the players, so I cannot imagine how they feel. I'm really tired. Yeah, I slept for a while. Endurance is a huge factor, but it seems like they're playing. Seems like they're playing pretty decently, both of them. I would say. Yeah, at a certain point, point when you're playing this game, like you're in the moment, so like, you know, tired. Like you're not tired actually. Actually, sometimes you are, but. I think that's most only of if the, you're feeling shitty. I feel like most of the players here are like melee machines. Like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're tired. for me. <laughs> I, whenever I host, people come over for me just to sleep on them. I just like actually just go to sleep. Instead. That sounds really weird. Yeah, I actually just like fall asleep, and then like I have, I always like have two other people with me because I always just like fall asleep so they can just play. You know what I mean? Go go and profanity come over and I just fall asleep. <laughs> right? Yeah, he falls asleep all the time. He's like, I wanna play Smash. And then we play for an hour and he's like, bye. And then I get up and then play like an hour and then he's like, bye. And then we'll go to Taco Bell and then you're up for the rest of the night. Komodo just needs to figure something out. That was a little... Uh, what's the word for that? Ambitious? Yeah, Komodo should definitely mentally, mentally prepare himself for the next set. Yeah. Or do that like four times. That's just something that Sheik has to remember. You have to remind Sheik that, you know, that's a thing. Because honestly, this matchup, until that happens, this matchup looks pretty even. Until something like that happens where you just dry died trying to interact. Oh dang. 
That's two. Or up air, yeah. Even. I know I have seen Hungry Box punish that with rest. I know it's possible. Yeah, it's possible. It's, but it's really tight. It's hard, but I know it's possible. That's something you have to like do a punch or something. You'd have to practice that a lot. You just need to be med I think you just need to be ready, honestly. This isn't super hard. It's just like being ready just to be down smash. And yeah. Hit it a couple times and then just done resting him. But you can spot dodge the. Yes, I know what you're talking about. I've heard about that. You like either ASDI or crouch cancel the first hit and then you spot dodge. Cause like I saw that. Cause like I saw KJH posted about that. I think. Uh, crouch cancel the first hit or ASDI down, then buffer spot dodge. And it'll be perfectly so that you can shine or just. You can basically hit Sheik with anything if you do that. You just shield the first hit? Yeah. I think I know what you're that makes Yeah, sense. that would work. I think you're right. Because there's like a little like period to where you don't get. Alright, that's the fastest reset ever. Okay, the Yeah. Reset. It was Duck, it wasn't KJH. They're from the same region. Similar concept, but yeah, I do remember it was done. Because it was, it was like one, it, one of his things about his anti sheik tech. Like, of course, it's the Samus player who has the anti sheik tech. You'd have to have anti sheik tech if you're playing Samus in that matchup. All right, come on, it's awake. Which is funny because he's a puff player. Get it? Ha ha ha. I'm leaving. Oh, I, I said I was gonna leave. <laughs> I literally said if this went to a second set, I was going to leave. So I'm going to leave. All right. Bye, Henry. Uh, yeah, let me know if we're going to stick shape. Okay, I'll message you. See ya. Anyways. El Komodo won his second SmackDown ever, and his first real SmackDown. Or Lil Kodo. Um, win again. Yes. I think there's a universe where Panda won against Kodo and then Kamado won, like, really easily. And then there's another one where Panda just destroyed Kamado, or went to, like, a billion games and a billion stocks. Coverage. I don't understand why Komodo doesn't just cover whatever is hard to cover beforehand. Because Puff can just like go down there. She can go anywhere actually. As long as she's far enough away from the stage. There's like a certain point where you can't edge guard her, but and you have to hold ledge. But if you're far away enough, you have enough time. You can cover a lot, and you can like basically cover whatever's hard, and then whatever's easy is what's left. But I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking about it too easy, too like simple. But at the same time, this game is pretty simple. So when it comes down to it. Two get loser Nintendo characters. Two, 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 very angry. Probably isn't angry, but he just looks angry. Yeah. Very scary. <laughs> Ninety-five percent of the universe, maybe. Oh, dang. What's up, Greg? You want to commentate? What? Oh yeah, where are we going? Two, 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 two
This game will, this will last for a while. I've accepted my fate. Dude, today I could not play my fox at all. <laughs> Why? What happened? I'm just tired. That's fair. I mean, we all have our bad days, you know? Yeah. I was playing some kid, and I was just, like, getting destroyed somehow, and then I just picked Kirby and beat him. Did you, like, work and then come here? Or, like, school? Or school. Uh, yeah, that's, that's I have fine. school yeah. until, like, 420, so yeah, I... You just came straight here? I went to my apartment, but I didn't, like, rest or anything. I just came here afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Should have taken, like, an hour nap before you came here. I think I was like watching videos. Damn, dude. <laughs> I'm an idiot or something. Damn. What am I doing? Oh, this is the icing method. This is where someone takes you to a certain stage that they don't want to, and then they'll like ice you out, and then next game they do better than they should. Okay, Kroto just gives up on uh, on uh, Dreamland. Just See, this is, this is that, stage. oh, I'm going to ice you out pretty much. I don't yeah. think that's the case, but like it's happened. Like it, Hbox does it all the time. <laughs> nah, he does it every now and then. But. Yeah, I've seen that. Where you just I think it's a valid strategy though. Yeah. I know Wizzy does it I feel like unintentionally, but <laughs> he still does it. Well, he does it out of game. I mean it's fair, I guess, but he does it way too excessive like. It's just ridiculous. Just a Bro. Nah, he's not gonna die off. He's gonna be like sixty percent. Yeah, but still it's a lot. It wasn't that heavy of a punish, so he's okay. So he's still facing all these games. Have, all these games have been even. That's actually like really cool to see. Like I, I miss completely when Komodo beat Prado. Um, shit, man. You really did miss it. Yeah, I was playing. I was. I had the sickest losers run, but then like I lost to the same guy in round one. The, what was his name again? I forgot. What? Oh yeah, the JMAC guy. Right yeah, he's insane. Fuck, dude. Like the smallest things, I just need a fix and match up, and I'll be good. Yeah, that guy was fast. He was so good at tech chasing. Yeah. Imagine losing to the same person twice and then never playing them again. <laughs> Damn. I guess I'll play them in CEO. I can't imagine that. Actually, I can't, but whatever. Is it lean? <laughs> no. Okay. I haven't played lean like at all, actually. Like, I've played lean probably in friendlies maybe five times in my life. And then, like, I, I see him all the time, too, which is weird. Right. And I just never play him. I think ever since Komodo complained about me beating him, he's just like, oh, I want to dodge him. Like, dodge me, pretty much. It's so whatever, though. Komodo, every single time he plays a Falcon, he's like, oh, he's not as good as, he's not as, good as G. He's not as good as G. I have more trouble with G. It's really yeah, funny. I mean, it's... I'm glad he's improving. Like, I bear, like last week is like night, night and day from today. I mean, it's just always dead even. Like, sure, like, Kroto has his hits, but, like, Komodo always just finds a way to come back. Yeah, yeah but K there. Komodo doesn't really shine in even situations, I feel like. He shines really where either he's behind or he's up. Yeah. That's, that's the two. That's the two places that he wants to be, but never even. So right here, he's going to yeah. he's, he's gonna even it up, and then he's going to go have to struggle. That's like literally his whole entire, the whole Komodo's entire set so far. Yeah, Komodo's a bit hasty on his aerials. Like I don't the, know if I him, actually. I think he could take a game, this set. He just needs to like, see, that was good. If he can take this game, Komodo has a chance. But if he doesn't, like before, you weren't here, but Komodo was talking in commentary, and it's like, oh, bro, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose, bro. I'm going to lose. I'm I like, think that's the ultimate strat. Like, say you're going to lose, and then, and you then just, just really lose. <laughs> yeah. No, no, but, like, <laughs> that's the oh, ultimate strat. Oh, did you just see that, dude? I mean, that's the ultimate strat to lose. Dude, no, but. If you, like, because if you give it for free, then you're never going to warm up. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, he always says that to himself, and he ends up winning somehow, so it's different. But against some people, you just can't do that, you know what I mean? It's true. That was actually next level. Kroto's definitely not one of those players where you say, I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose, and they're just going to ease up once once you like just get destroyed. It's like, oh, he's just going to play the same way he always does. All right. Yo, so whoever's watching, clip that. That was oh. Clip the counter rest setup. It's pretty good. I think it's over. I don't think I don't think Kamada's like mentally prepared, you know. If Komodo like traveled out of state, he'd be he'd, he'd do so much good. like he'd do so he'd much do, better. Yeah, yeah. he'd he'll just do well. 
I'm just saying. There's so little puffs out of state. Yeah, Komodo is like the second to come, like the, suck, the second puff coming, you know? To what? Yeah. Like to like show up CFL and shit. Like not only HBox, but like, you know. Well, MB, yeah, but like he's not coming out as much. That was a jab reset. I just missed it. Yeah. If MB came out more, I feel like Komodo would have a harder time because just there'd be more puff practice. You know? Right. But. Oh yeah, thanks. Is this a game point for Kyle? Yeah, game point for Kyle. Yeah, I think he's gonna six up. I still believe in Komodo. Water Knight plays my bet. <laughs> oh, who do you? Who you? Oh, that was so good. Damn. He also that, won there's a rest I'm looking for. So that's 10, so he would just lose 10 though. That was fucking yeah. Beyblade, bro. I think he lost 10 to Beyblade, Lane again. Dude. Right? I thought it was you and him again. No? I wonder if Mono could like, rest out of shield that way, but I oh, think he was too far. He also bet with someone else, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> it was behind. That's true. I feel like. You'll get used to it over time, fighting pups for a while. It's just a matchup, you know? Oh, I thought you was. Yeah. That's true. If the model went out, it's that he beat everyone's ass. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, beat Gatsu. Yeah, this was stacked as well. This is just unusual. Yeah, that that he was came crazy. out of nowhere. I, yeah, that was weird. Just not seeing got to Wait, what the? What did you just say, bro? What did you say? What did you say? I did get Armada. <laughs> <laughs> I did get Armada. Let me just retire, or he's gonna retire. But I hope he's too good. Uh, I believe in the six though. I want to see more melee. I want to please win. I don't want to see more melee. I want tire. I want beat food. He's gonna go high and he's gonna back her. No. He's gonna like try to go no, high. What will off. happen is Kurt gonna nair right here. Watch. Nair. Oh, damn. My Kurt not moving. He's gonna get back here and he's gonna die. He's gonna come down with the nair. Watch this. Okay. Anytime now. Anytime. Oh, my anytime, Kurt. Odie and Lean can. Oh my god, this nair, is it. Nair, nair, nair. Fuck. All it takes is a forward smash to the face. Or an air. But we like. This will actually be a 6 0. This is probably one of Komodo's best days of his life. Don't get fair. One of his worst days of his life. Fair. Days of his life no. no! I told you, Nair. Kroto, cog blocking everybody. Good night, everyone. I'm out of here.